So this was always the calculated design because they understood that it would break down the family, which would break down the culture, and of course, uh, Christianity, which was their, their big target. You know, once you interrupt that transfer of values and, and things from one generation to the next, they thought they'd have a, a blank slate to write on. We talked a little bit about the death of the church, um, so I wanna go to the next realm, which is the state. How is the public school affecting the state of our nation? of our states and our republic? Well, the, the simple term is it is throwing it into chaos with the ultimate goal of destroying it. Um, you know, one more quick thing to say about the, the collapse of the family. This was always the design from the very beginning when the sex ed thing started coming in. In fact, the first guy to really seriously propose the idea of government schools, um, Robert Owen, back in the early 1800s, his goal was to eliminate Christianity, according to a whistleblower. And part of the process of doing that was uh, breaking down the family. The communists in Eastern Europe understood this 100 years ago. Um, they, they brought these ideas over to the United States through the Frankfurt School. They painted the father as an authoritarian, as a fascist. Uh, so this was always the calculated design because they understood that it would break down the family, which would break break down the culture and, of course, uh, Christianity, which was their, their big target. You know, once you interrupt that transfer of values and, and things from one generation to the next, they thought they'd have a, a blank slate to write on. And the same process is now taking place when it comes to the nation, when it comes to the government. So uh, America was founded largely on biblical principles of government, of society, of culture, etc., uh, now, that doesn't mean every single one of the founders was a Bible-believing Christian. That's probably not the case. But the principles that were articulated, these come directly from the Bible. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson called them a self-evident truth, but he actually stole that language, not, not the self-evident truth part, the but the part about a God-given right to life, liberty, property, et cetera. He stole that language from the Presbyterians in North Carolina, later from Samuel Adams, uh, who circulated the document on the rights of the colonists through the Committees for Correspondence. But these were biblical principles that were at the foundation of our nation. And, of course, that resulted in the Declaration of Independence. That resulted in the Constitution. Well, what we have had now is four, maybe five generations of indoctrination designed to discredit not just those documents, but also the principles that underpin them. Uh, you talk to an average young person today, they have no idea what's even written in those documents. All they know is, and they regurgitate it like trained seals, uh, slave owners, uh, white guys, dead white guys, right? Dead old white guys uh, is, is the, the, um, the meme du jour. And this is all uh, very, very strategic, right? They understood that if they could discredit these principles, uh, and these are universal principles, by the way, they come out of the Bible. They're not unique to America. Yes, America's founding fathers uh, were sinful. They're human beings in a fallen, sinful world. Um, right. but, but the principles are applicable anywhere and everywhere. The principle that comes out of the Bible that all men are created equal, right? Which is, of course, the principle that ended up uh, eradicating slavery, not just here in the United States, but all over the world. That comes from the Bible. Um, the principle that God gave us rights, like the right to life. Again, that comes straight out of the Bible. God said, thou shalt not murder. He said, murder is evil. He said, government exists to punish evil. Therefore, government has an obligation to help you protect your right to life and to punish those who infringe on it. Same thing with property, thou shalt not steal. So these are just biblical principles. And what the schools are doing is very, very strategically and masterfully, I gotta give them credit where credit is due. They're very, very good at what they're doing. They are undermining uh, the, those principles. They're undermining the values, uh, and they're actually totally reorienting children's trust and worldview in a direction that is utterly hostile to the United States of America, to the principles that the United States of America was founded on. Uh, and that's why we see young people today, uh, literally revolutionaries, ready to go out and burn their cities down, ready to, to go out and open up our borders, ready to go out and surrender American sovereignty. Um, it's because they've been brainwashed. They've been indoctrinated to believe these things. Uh, and of course, even if that wasn't happening, the destruction of the family that we talked about would lead inevitably to the destruction of the nation. But Amen. you add to that the deliberate agenda to destroy the nation, and you see we are facing uh, a catastrophe if we don't get this turned around. This episode of Rapid Response was brought to you by CTC Math. Visit them at ctcmath.com today.